Welcome everyone to this video. Today we're going to be talking about free anti-malware solutions that you can use to clean your computer and keep it safe and secure here in 2024 and going forward. Please keep in mind that free software is free in the sense that you're not paying for it with dollar bills or other currency, but don't be surprised when you find out that they are tracking or mining user data. Lots of free software, dare I say most free software, you're paying for it via your user data which they are collecting. And I'm just mentioning this now because, for example, Avast recently had a big hullabaloo about user data being collected and this is not new. This has been happening with free software for decades, so just be aware of that as we go forward. First up is Norton Power Eraser and just be aware I will post links down in the video description down in the notes to all of these free solutions. But Norton Power Eraser, even though it will not remove the most malware from a computer, it tends to find some of the hardest. And one thing I'll also mention, some of these solutions you may want to run in safe mode but can also be ran just in normal mode so please be aware of that. But to use this tool you'll just hit run now and it will go ahead and scan your computer. And if it finds anything, it will let you know. But again, Norton Power Racer, while it may not have the highest detection rate, it is good at finding and removing those tough, already existing infections on the computer. Super Anti-Spyware, free edition. It does have a premium edition. Do not buy it. This solution is definitely not good enough to be a primary first solution, and I would not use it as a secondary opinion scanner either. But it is good for a third, maybe fourth opinion scanner because while it doesn't have the highest detection rate, it does find and remove some of the lower priority, lower hanging fruit that other solutions ignore. And so if you're really just going for cleaning the computer out as much as possible and getting that extra layer of polish, this is a good scan to run again as a third, maybe fourth opinion scanner. To do so, you just hit scan. It does have multiple scan options. Just go with the complete scan. Once completed, it will show you the results if any are found and give you the option to remove them. Hitman Pro is a very good malware removal tool. However, it's technically not free, but it does have a 30 day free trial. And so if you do have an infected computer, you can use that free trial to get those infections removed. Once you get to this screen, you can just click on default scan. Just make sure to review these options before you proceed and then click next. And then as always, you'll just let it run until it's fully completed. It will list any results that it does find and if it knows it's malware it will list it as such if it doesn't know what it is it will give you the option to decide what to do however if you're not sure what these results are i would just stick with the defaults and then you can click on next and then close mz soft emergency kit scanner is free to use and the nice thing is this solution does have pretty good detection rate very similar to something like hitman pro and my only real complaint with this solution is it takes a long time to update. But aside from that, it does give you multiple options. You'll typically just want to do a malware scan. And just like the previous options, you'll just let it run until it's fully completed. It will give you the option to remove any results if any are found. And next up on the list is Malwarebytes, which does have a free and premium version. The free version lets you scan your computer and remove any malware if any is found. The premium version adds in real-time protection which when it was first released wasn't very good, but they have made some significant improvements. I personally would still use a dedicated antivirus for real-time protection and just use the free version of Malwarebytes as a second opinion scanner. And Malwarebytes is one of the best known, most reputable anti-malware tools out there. One thing in settings you'll want to tweak is just make sure under scan and detections that scan for rootkits is turned on. And then you'll just have the scan option here I do like how Malwarebytes always checks for updates first before it runs the scan and then just like any other tool it will run, listing results if any are found, and then give you the option to remove them. I'd also like to mention ADW Cleaner, which is owned by Malwarebytes, and there is a lot of overlap between Malwarebytes anti-malware solution and ADW Cleaner, but ADW Cleaner primarily focuses on adware which includes PUPs some of the lower risk infections. And while Malwarebytes anti-malware will detect and remove most of these, there may be some that ADW Cleaner picks up that Malwarebytes anti-malware does not. And so it may be good, again, if you're trying to do a full deep clean to run this occasionally, in addition to Malwarebytes anti-malware. All you'll do is just hit scan now, you'll let it run, and it will let you know if it finds any results. 
I should mention that Windows comes with a free built-in scanner and it's built into the Windows security. And so if I open this up and we click on virus and threat protection, here we have scan options, which allows us to do a quick full or custom scan and even an offline scan. And while Windows security is not as good as a premium high-end solution, they have come a long ways and it's definitely useful to run this and this should be running automatically in the background anyways, though typically it will do a quick scan and so occasionally coming in here and doing a full scan can be very useful. If you are looking for a free alternative antivirus, even to be used temporarily as a second opinion scan, I will link these options down below, but basically you should only be looking at Bitdefender free antivirus or Avast and AVG, which Avast and AVG at this point are basically the same company. And there are other free antivirus options out there, but these are really the only ones you should be looking at. Another Windows tool I do want to mention is it now comes with a built-in reset option. And while using anti-malware tools are good, if you really want to make sure that you wipe everything out that may be malicious on your computer, this reset option is very useful. You just click on reset PC and you will have the option to keep your files or remove everything. And so you'll just select one of those options and then it will walk you through the steps. In the past, I've talked about Zamana anti-malware as a solution. And at that time it was a possible solution, but since then they've had a lot of security issues. And so I'm not going to dive into it into detail in this video, but I will link these sources down below where you can kind of look at some of the big problems that Samantha has run into. And I do want to mention, because this kind of segues into this topic, while these tools are useful, the goal should not be install every anti-malware solution because for privacy and security's sake, it's actually better to have as few number of applications on your computer as possible. And we've seen with Zamana, but also CCleaner, that hackers often target popular tools. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, free software does collect user data. And so again, from a privacy and security perspective, the goal is not to install every anti-malware or antivirus solution, only use it on demand and remove and uninstall it after it's been used. And last, I just like to bring up these tools just because it's fun to look back at what once was and tools that used to be very useful and very good back in the day. But Rogue Killer, Hijack This, R Kill, Combo Fix. Again, these are not tools that you would currently use and they have not been updated for a long time. But they were very useful in their day and it's kind of nice just to think back and brings back a lot of memories. But that is all of my recommendations. If you feel there's something that was left out that should have been on the list, go ahead and leave a comment. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and please hit that join button to become a member. We do have member only content. Or hit the thanks button, the subscribe button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.